okay in next we will do set up for this model so if messaging is not uh, updated properly you can right click here and uh, click update okay so you should see the this tick mark okay so next open the set of uh, so you must select double precision this is 3d and I will do it parallel processing number of processor depend upon your processor so I will select 4 G4 per mason I will select 1 okay let's it open okay now everything open here is a model you can see with amazing so we'll select no this is the general only here we have to see pressure vest velocity absolute it should be transient okay gravity it should be minus 9.8 means downward direction meter per second square okay <coughs> for model uh, okay for model you should energy should turn on we need to solve energy equation and this is already turned on viscous lamina and we, all, we need to also solve the solidification melting it's part of energy equation and this massy constant we need to put okay i'll put one more extra zero here uh, okay let me see it's one luck okay so one luck is fine so this will say the metal property will also change okay fine then we need to add materials okay okay so already here here is there 1.225106 and okay this is fine this is fine this is fine okay close and also this is aluminium anything we need to update no everything is fine aluminium is already there we need to add extra material for fluid that is PCM L2 PCM okay machinic equation one and five nine cp is one four six seven thermal conductivity is zero point five and viscosity is zero point zero zero two five two Thermal expression coefficient is 0, 0, 1. Okay. 200,000. Solidus temperature is 352, means 79 degrees Celsius. And liquid ash temperature is 358, means 85 degrees Celsius. Okay. Let's create it. Change creator and operator. Yeah. No. It will create new material. Okay. Close this. This is PCM. And this is, yeah. Okay. Fine. Material is fine. Energy equation is fine. Then we have cell zone condition. So in cell zone condition you have to select the material need to be applied for air it is air already there for aluminium this is already aluminium set for PCM 
it should be PC. Okay. Next is the bounding condition. Bounding condition is now as the air top air top convection. Here we need to add so selection condition is fine. You want to see the okay bounding condition. Yeah, air top convection. Momentum is fine. Thermal will convection and heat transfer coefficient so will set it to room heat transfer coefficient and temperature is 300 degree Celsius. That is fine. And these are the contact region. No need to update. See contact region SOC target already shared. Hint of convection also. Don't same thermal will put thermal okay 25 this is fine heat input i'll put no it should be heat flux 5440 watt per meter square okay then insulation is absolutely heat flux is zero heat flux is zero this is our interior body, we no need to update and shared wall convection. Okay, the heat transfer coefficient should be bit less. So I'll put 18. CMT is fine, no need to update. It is then the wall, wall, all walls, no need to update. Yeah, wall top convection. Wall top convection is condition. It is also 25. Okay. So what we said to wall top convection is 25. Fin top convection is 25. Heat transfer coefficient 25. Air top convection 25. These two side convection is heat transfer coefficient is 18. And sorry. And this symmetry bounding condition here we set up insulation here. Set up the heat input. Okay. So this is all about boundary condition. Selden condition is fine. Let's check the mesh interface. Everything is fine or not. Okay. This target is set to source. Each target is set to source. Ah, it will be automatically set. No need to do anything. This is all about setup. Next we will go with solution.